Yo, what's up, Park Hoppers? Hello, everybody, and welcome back. All right, we are back at California Adventure. We are. It is a beautiful, oh my gosh, blue sky it's kind of day. So nice. Perfect weather for, mm. for some food and wine. Yes. We're excited to get started. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't even look at the list. Crystal kind of looked on the way down. I looked on the way down. So, I pulled up all the new items. So it's all kind of a surprise to yeah. me. So let's go try some food. Let's go. Let's go. All right, you guys, I had to try this frozen old fashioned. So it is non-alcoholic. So if you got a little one that wants to know what daddy's been drinking or mom, uh, it melts really fast. So I'm gonna try and take a quick bite. Okay, it's good. It doesn't taste like an old fashioned to me though. You get like the bitters and the orange flavor. I like it, but I wouldn't, I, if you gave this to me and told me guess what the flavor is, I wouldn't say it was old fashioned. I would say it was like orange creamsicle kind of flavor. Interesting. It's good though. All right, so I am not a fan of old fashions, but I am a fan of creamsicle like ice cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. It's like a subtle orange creamsicle. No, flavor. it really is. It's supposed to be like the like, orange from the bitters. Yeah, this is like, I think this is amazing. It's really good. It doesn't taste like an old fashioned. I don't get any bourbon flavor no. personally, but I like it. Mm -hmm. I think this is so good. Yeah, it's good. This is really good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like out of all the popsicles that I've tried, this is like it's the le least weird though. It's not avocado. It's not an elote. This is the safest one. It is, but it is so good. I'm I'm glad Disney decided to go safe this year. <laughs> okay, so I was a little hesitant on picking up this drink. It's the PB and J like whiskey drink, but it looks so good. So that it has like a peanut butter whiskey. There's a raspberry liqueur, a bunch of other stuff, but. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this, if you like peanut butter, like peanut butter whiskey specifically, this is absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness, like, all you get, I don't get any of the raspberry, like a little hint of raspberry. It's mostly the peanut butter flavoring. But this is so good. I love this. <laughs> All right, let's try this pulled pork mac and cheese. Uh, excited, I'm glad they have the toppings. Sometimes they run out. The mac and cheese itself is pretty good. Really creamy, like not dried out. The oh, pork, that's good. the pork is good too. I heard a lot of people were saying there wasn't enough cheese on the mac and cheese. Mm, this one definitely is... It looks very cheesy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's like the fried onion strings on top for a nice little crunch. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. I think... Even the barbecue sauce, I would say if you're not a big barbecue fan, you could probably ask them to not give it to you a barbecue sauce. But it's like a subtle barbecue sauce flavor. So overall, I think it's pretty good. I'd use another tab on this. All right, guys. We got it last year, but we had to get it again this year. It's so good. It's the Snickers macaroon, and I mean, it's good. But let me just see if it's, let's see if it measures up to the last year. Snickers macaron. Oh, mac, what did I say? Macaron. Oh, Snickers macaron. Did I say it right that time? Yes. Okay. I was like, wait, I'm confused. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That girl was very zoned in on how big I had to open my mouth to get this in. <laughs> this is so good. Like, the filling is just so... Oh, I love it. I love anything that's peanut butter, so... This is definitely a must-get. I love it. It's, like, the most photogenic, iconic thing of the, the festival, so... Definitely get it. All right, so we got some of the food and wine merch here. Here's the spirit jersey with Chef Mickey on it. Hide that from Crystal. We have... Pepper's Caliente, so that's one of the booths. The avocado time. The salt and pepper shakers are super cute. Some wine glasses. Let's see what they got on the other side. All of it, I, I really like this lounge fly. It was really cool. Um, too bad it's 
I really do like that. That's super cool. The other shirts. But I like, out of everything, I think I like the lounge fly the most. I also like that it doesn't have the year on it. Oh, it does on the back. But you wouldn't see that wearing it. So I really like that it has all the boosts, but not the year. Line for Delish. So Delish is all the way over there. This is the line, long line, but it's opening day, so to be expected. All right, so over here at Sonoma Terrace, they have a charcuterie flatbread. Um, they do have a fold over like they do at Daisy's. So there are pepperoncinis in here. And I don't know if they're spicy and now I'm having like a mild anxiety attack, but it smells so good. I love like all the crispy cheese on the outside. Okay, this is really good. Yeah? This is really good. Okay. Did you go with a dip? But I'm a little scared to try it. Man. Let's give it a little. All right, so I did get a little bit of the sauce on it. Let's go ahead and give it a try now. It has like a ranch flavoring. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure what to expect because it said pepperoni and chinis in it. And I didn't know that this is actually really good. It's really greasy. I didn't grab napkins and I'm regretting it now. But this is really, really good. I like this. All right, you guys. I have no idea what to expect out of this charcuterie flatbread. Let's give it a try. It's awesome and delicious. It's really good. It's like really flavorful. Very, it's very flavorful. Yeah. If you have the sip and saver, you can't use a tab for this. So they did say that you might be able to. They haven't updated the system. So okay, they but did today, it today. You could. Yeah. So opening day you couldn't. Definitely try if you come though. Honestly, this is this is really, really good. It is so good. It is greasy though. Alright you guys, you know we had to pick up the sip and saver passes. And what's really cool is this year there's two different types. There's a four sip and savers and an eight, right? And you'll notice no tabs. They went digital starting this year. Uh, I think it started with um, Lunar New Year, which we kind of missed, so, but we're back. What happens is there's a barcode on the back. They'll scan it and then there's a pin code. Uh, well, I'll show, no, I'm not, just in case we don't use it, I'm not gonna show the pin code. I don't know if it matters. But um, you'll scan it, super easy. Uh, for Magic Key holders, they were 56 bucks for the eight. And then I think the four tab is literally just half that. So, you know, price that into what you're gonna get and make it worth a tab. So, enjoy. You don't need to look at that. What? You don't need to look at that. I do need to look at it. I, don't think you do. I like that the, the logo is uh, Hollywood uh, land, like right in Oh, yeah, it is nice. Yeah. I like that it doesn't have, does it have the year on it anywhere? Probably on the front. Oh, yeah. It does, it has it on the front. I really wish that, like, they would do more on the sleeves, like how yeah. they did for the snack one. Yeah. I don't know. Perfect opportunity. They could have put the names of, like, the, the booths. The booths up or, and down like, it. even the, like, the, like, food, like, yeah. macaroni and cheese, right. the Mickey okay, yeah. macaron. Yeah. I, all would have been so cute. I think so, too. Yeah. Do I need it? I don't think so. I think so. All right, so we're on our way over by Little Mermaid. And they have the Disney artists here, which is nothing new. But first of all, they're painting digitally on an yes, iPad. Yes, digitally. So I didn't notice that. But show us what you can do with, once you have it done. Yeah, so once you have your uh, picture done, you have a few options. You can print your label and put it on a wine bottle. Or you can have a coasters made. These are really cool. Look at this. That is so cool. I love this idea. This is really neat. We're kind of thinking about doing I know, this. I, I know. I have know. a few questions I'm going to ask them, and then, okay, uh, then we'll, we'll let start. you know. We'll let you know. All right, we're going to try to come back. They didn't have any coasters. They, yeah, they're out of coasters right now. They misplaced them. First day problems. We get it. Yeah. So we're going to try to come back later. Um, we're thinking of getting our dogs put on coasters. So yeah. we're going to see. Yeah, we're pretty cool. See. I like I it. I think it would be really cool. Just a quick update on that art. It is really cool, but we sat down did some math, and it is really expensive. So you have to buy the set of coasters, <laughs> which they're out of right now which would be 20 bucks. And then for each face, color face that you put on it. So if you put like me and Chris on one coaster, that's 33 each for face. 
So we are going to do us, the four dogs, plus our heaven dog is going to add up. So we still might do it because it's really cool, like, keepsake that we keep forever. So, but we'll see. They're out right now, so we're going to come back later. All right, so I am going to try the hamburger. Is it a hamburger or cheeseburger? I think it's cheeseburger bow. A cheeseburger bow. Whatever um, it says down here. <laughs> we love these in Walt Disney World, um, but it has a um, thousand no, on it. At Disney World, it's egg rolls. Oh, they are egg rolls. Okay. Never mind, just kidding, scratch that. <laughs> um, uh, I'm excited to try these. I think it's, I don't know if I want all this on there. That's a lot of onions, but you know what? Oh well. This is good. It's all right. It's not good. It's good, but all right good. It's just a lot of dough. I mean, all bao buns I know. usually are. But no, I know. But like... Sometimes the second bite is what's better. Okay. Let me get a second bite in then. Yeah. No, it's still the same. Still the same? Yeah. Okay. I'd probably opt for no onions, but then there's like no flavoring at all, really. Are the onions and stuff just on top? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. So people can get it without that stuff. Yeah. Because it has like tomato, onion, and pickle and Thousand Island on the top. Yeah. I would rather get it without all that and have the sauce on the side to dip it in. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Because like, it's very dry on the inside. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I probably wouldn't get this again. It's all right. It's a good one time try, but I, I would never get it again. Okay. All right, I figured I'll give it a shot too. Like Crystal said, at Disney World, they have cheeseburger egg rolls that are amazing. Uh, I'm not a fan of pickle, but you know, since Crystal tried with everything, I'll try it with everything. I honestly didn't even taste the pickle. It's mostly the onions that you taste. I actually really like this. Really? It tastes like a McDonald's hamburger on a steamed bun. Yeah, no. I like it. But I feel like the meat had no flavoring. The bite I had, let me try just the meat. Let's try just the meat and put that rest to rest. So the meat has no flavoring. Apparently I like the flavor of everything else on top. Yeah. The meat isn't super flavorful. I do think it would be better, like Crystal said, if they'll give you the sauce on the side or even just put a little bit here. Scoop it Scoop in it there. In, yeah. Overall, I think if you buy the Sip and Saver and you have an extra tab, this is worth a try. But it is really doughy, you know? But I liked it. All right, so if it's sweets, you know it's got my name on it. So I got the, uh, what is it, just a caramel tart? Yeah. All right, so I don't know if I should have a Caramel marshmallow, s'more. like a yeah, s'more tart. A s'more marshmallow tart, I don't know. But yeah, do I just like take a bite out of it? Or do I, like, I would. Yeah. <laughs> we got a hype team over here. I would, I would just do it. Mm. <laughs> okay. It's like a salted caramel. It's really good. Like, I don't know if you could see, but there's like a layer in there. There's the caramel on the, the bottom, the chocolate on top. This is really good. I like this more than the Snickers macaron. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you love the Snickers macaron. I know, I do. Okay. But I love caramel. Okay. This is really good. This would be great with like a hot cup of chocolate. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This is really good. Okay. So I should have tried it on camera. I expected to like it. I tried the s'mores tart. I don't want any s'more, you know what I'm saying? One was enough, no s'more for me. Uh, it, it was just too much for me. It's really rich. I will say the chocolate's like moussey though, and it's cold and that was really refreshing. But I need a glass of milk. It's like, it like sucked all the moisture out of my mouth. I wouldn't get it again. But if you really like sweets, and also I will say, Blame me in the comments, but I don't like s'mores either. I like marshmallows, I don't like s'mores. And so it tastes exactly like a s'more. So if you're into that, you're gonna love it. I already hate my marshmallow, but that just means s'more for me. All right, so you know if it's spicy, I'm the one trying it. This is the shrimp papa locas. Um, they had a Diablo shrimp here last year. That was really, really good. So I'm hoping this is spicy. really good. Uh, it looks like it's just potato, uh, jalapeno cheese sauce, Maybe some chimichurri and then the shrimp. So I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. I think it's a um, chipotle shrimp. I don't know. Yes, it is a chipotle shrimp. It got a little heat. For you, it'd be really spicy. Overall, I like it. We did try it after we filmed. 
So the potato bite I had was like really mushy. I think on like a, it's supposed to obviously be pretty fried and, and crunchy, but overall, I like it. The jalapeno cheese sauce has a good flavor. Yeah, I like it. I would get these again. Oh, Crystal's gonna do. You the guys spicy. know I love I love shrimp. I love shrimp. I love potatoes. I like nacho cheese. I'm gonna try the potato by itself first. I'm a little scared. Oh, that smells spicy. It's probably gonna be a four or like a three, maybe. Let me you. get this pump in just in case. <laughs> but yeah, it smells spicy. I just want a shrimp. The shrimp didn't taste too spicy by itself. Yeah. Okay. It's a little spicy. You're right about a three, three crystals. Let me get this shrimp a try. Oh, okay, there. The, the heat hits you in the end. Oh. Do I want to go through with this? Just do it. It's worth it. It's shrimp. <laughs> okay, the shrimp is really good. I don't know what it is. Oh, it has to be the sauce, like whatever. The, the cheese sauce is a jalapeno cheese sauce. So it's like if you got the jalapeno cheese dipping at Wetzel and put it all over. It's really good, but it's really spicy. Oh man. Yeah. I can tell you like it though. <laughs> yeah, it's really good, but that's all I can have. Yeah, good three crystals right there. <laughs> all right, we're gonna try these cheese pizza wings. That sounds interesting. They smell like pizza. Dude, they handed them to me and I just like instantly wanted pizza. Okay, okay. Well, let's take a bite. I've heard a few things about these, so I want to see what you say. I get, I get the pizza flavor. I won't get cheese pizza necessarily, but I get pizza. Okay, so I've heard from a, like, a good handful of people that they get, they're just wings. There's no flavor at all to them. They taste like marinara wings, I'm going to be honest. Marinara? Yeah, and they have like... It's probably hard to see, but they have like Italian zest on them or something. Mm -hmm. They're not bad. So David said that all he tasted was paprika. I don't taste paprika. I just, I taste marinara, like low quality marinara. Um, I wanted to love these. You know, I love wings. I don't. Um, also, they're a dry rub, which I like, but I think they also bask them in some kind of marinara because when you take a bite, the dry rub tastes pasty. Oh. So it's not like your normal dry rub. It's like a pasty dry rub, which I don't like. Um, I would skip these. I would. This is the worst thing we've had today so far. And it's not that it was terrible. It's just, it's, they were probably like eight bucks or nine bucks. The price was on the screen. Uh, we used our tab, but I think you can do better. So now that I have everybody's thoughts in my head, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Mmm. <laughs> like pasty mm -hmm. yeah yeah that the chicken actually itself is really oh, good yeah, the chicken and it has a nice crisp mm -hmm. on the skin like i should have said that part's great that part is yeah it's a really good chicken like it's very very moist yeah it's not um, dried out at all no not at all like hearing the dry rub about it made it feel like i was gonna need like something to drink instantly but yeah it definitely you definitely get the marinara and like the seasoning flavoring but it doesn't taste like cheese pizza i was hoping it had like cheese like like crisped on it. They could have even like Parmesan oh, yeah. tossed it, but. Yeah, but they're all right. They're all right. They were really disappointing to me. Yeah, yeah. They're nothing that like I need to come and get them again. Whew. I feel like we let y'all down. I'm full. <laughs> we're both full. Yeah. It's just us today. We were with some friends, but everybody's doing their own thing. Yeah. So we're full. Yep. We have, we skipped a couple booths that didn't have new foods that we want to try. Right. We're going to be back to try drinks. Yes. And then we have two whole booths where we want all four foods. Yes. Over in Hollywood. So we're going to be back next weekend. Mm -hmm. We're going to do those booths and we're going to do a mixology we class. We are. I don't know how much I can record in that, but we're going to record as much as they let us. Yeah. And that should be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We had a blast here. It felt so good to be back I in the know. park, you guys. We saw so many good faces. Lots of friends. We met some new people. Got yes. some new followers or subscribers. If you guys are watching, hello. thank you and hello. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite was the flatbread. Flatbread. Surprise hits. Worst thing was the wings. Yeah. yeah. We're in agreement this time. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Peace.